editing me here. I just thought I'd have to put a little bit of a disclaimer in as um, I am editing here. I have got different hair. One day it's curly, one day it's straight, one day it's wavy. <laughs> I've got different skin. One day I'm tanned, one day I'm pale. Um, that's what I'm dealing with. Dewey's so cute. <laughs> um, because um, the things I ordered obviously didn't all come together. So I've kind of patchworked everything up together and that's um, just in case you notice it and you wonder why. That's the reason. Good afternoon, my loves. Happy Coronation Day. It is Saturday the 6th of May. It won't be when you see this. It'll be a couple of weeks after that because it takes me ages to edit things and do the try-ons and things like that. Um, I've launched straight in. My name is Tracy. If you are new, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for sticking by me. I really appreciate your support. Today, I have got one of my favourite kind of hauls. I have got a um, clothing haul and a try-on. Uh, I've got stuff from Everything Five Pounds, from Vinted, and from Peacocks. I need a little bit from each, but I thought I'd clump them all together and show you what I've got. So should we just get cracking into it? Don't know what's going on with my hair. I've got, it is the worst day in the world today. It's been raining all day here in Berkshire and um, just not nice at all, but it looks like I've got the sun on me. There is no sun. <laughs> the sun's disappeared. Um, but I'm just going to leave it anyway. I'll leave it as it is. We'll just keep an eye on the light. Um, so first of all, I will show you some bits that I got from everything five pounds. As usual, I can't remember the prices. I'm just going to stick it on the um. I'm just going to stick it on the screen because it's much easier for me, and nobody wants me to be looking at receipts and things like that. Before I do get started, if um, you do enjoy this video, please think about subscribing to my channel. I've kind of stagnated now. I hit my 1,000. Um, I don't know what it was now, but I got super excited about it. And since then, I've just stayed the same or dropped a few subscribers. So um, if you do watch and you're not subscribed, please do so. It's free to do. You can unsubscribe if I bore the pants off of you. If you want to know when I upload, you can hit the notification bell. Let me show you what I've got. This looks like a dishcloth. It is so screwed up. Oh, that's a really good representation of the colour. Um, it, it's a beautiful colour, it's a shoe, no it's not a shoe, it's a shirt dress, where's my bins gone, let's have a little look, it's from a company that says Melia Melody Paris, um, I would have got it in a size 14, 16, it says T3 on it, I don't, I don't know what that means, there's the label. That's the other label. Um, but what it is, is a collared shirt dress. It goes down to a very drop waist. Um, it's got buttons all up the front and it's got a um, material belt tie that matches. I am thinking about getting, well, I have got some belts. I'm not a belt person. I don't like my waist. I, I don't have a waist. Um, so, but I, I am thinking of getting, um, I don't know. I'll try with this, um, maybe a couple of belts. I know people would tend to get them from Amazon um, because this is gonna need cinching in or else it's just gonna, it's quite wide. Um, it's got, they look like possibly three quarter length sleeves. They've got a little button fastening on them. I just, hold on, let me just have a quick, yeah, I thought so. They've got one of these things that does the sleeve up so you can tie it up on your shoulder. There's, there's the button. That one there. There's the button up there. So you tie it up. We'll see how, I, I don't know how I wear it. I'll have to um, see how it fits when it's on. But um, I just love the colour. I've got um, some lilac shoes. Oh, me. Of course I have. <laughs> I've got lilac shoes. Or you could match them in with nude shoes with this. Um, 
but I just thought it was a pretty colour. I thought it was quite lightweight and it would serve me well when it gets warmer because I am always hot. I'm not hot. Well, I am in short sleeve, but I am not hot today. It's cold today. It has rained all day here in Berkshire, so, um, but it's just not warm. As is my wont, I bought exactly the same dress, same uh, shape, but in a pale green. It's like a pale grass green, I would say. It's definitely not sagey. It's not particularly, yeah, just a pale green. Um, I will try it on, but I'm not going to get it out of the bag at the moment because you've just seen exactly the shape and style of it. I bought my son um, some pyjamas. They say working and then underneath it says from home and then it says WFH on them. Let's get them out. They're in a kind of, um, oh, you can just see them. Oh, no. oh, they feel really nice quality. So you can see the bit where it says working from home. They feel really nice. And then the bottoms have the same WFH um, on them, but they're just black. They're straight, straight down leg. And they've got a... Um, stretchy waistband and they've got a tie that does actually pull in a little bit I will see if I can get my boy just to model them for you I don't have a, a great deal of hope you know he is a little bit shy and he might not want to but if I can talk him into it maybe I'll food is usually a good thing he's very food driven so maybe I'll bribe him with takeaway and see if he'll do it but if he doesn't that's what I bought him <laughs> I'm not even going to say I don't need them because you all know I don't need them but I bought some more shoes. These are an unusual shaped um, heel. They're kind of in like um, almost like a, a pewter colour I suppose. They're only probably a couple of inches. They've got like um, a leather. I doubt if it is leather. Let me have a look. No, they're not, they're not leather. I should have smelt them. Um, one strap. These are um, like a little sling back with a, a buckle around the side. Not much else to say about them. I bought them in a size four. I just thought they would be a really good um, sling on shoe just because um, they're nice and low. They'd be comfy if you wanted to wear them for an extended amount of time. <laughs> They're from a company called Potty Patty. <laughs> Never heard of them. I picked them up in a UK size 4. That's a European 37. What do you think I'm going to say now? I picked them up in white. Exactly the same shoe. These ones have got a silver um, heel instead of the kind of brassy, pewtery colour one. This bit's nicely cushioned. They look nice and low and comfy. I have tried the black one on and that was super comfy. I just like the unusual heel and I just thought that they'd be nice with a little, um, a little dress in the summer. I just, I know I keep buying stuff, but I feel like you can't go wrong for how much they were, under six pounds. You can't, you can't go wrong with that, you know? And finally, from everything five pounds, are you ready for this? I purchased a fully sequined play suit. <laughs> so it, oh, that's the bottom. Yeah, so I get it up the right way. It's really weighty. Where's it from? It says unique 21. Blimey, I'm more like 21 times three. Um, it's just in silver. 
there's the I put enlarge there's the label so it is a fully sequined jumpsuit a uh, play suit so it crosses over it has got some elastication here round the waist and then just goes down to the shorts it's also got a um like a, a black kind of satiny ribbon here that does absolutely nothing other than you can tie it up in a bow kind of on the one side I don't really know what its purpose is it's lined so you don't get any of that horrible um sequin scratch which is just just for I just wanted it it was I'm probably never gonna wear it I'm probably too old to wear it but I don't care it was super sparkly and I wanted it so I got it oh and it's got some bell sleeves on it as well not particularly a fan of bell sleeves they just catch on everything and really get on my nerves most of the time but that's what it's got I went on the Peacock's website I did a Peacock's haul uh, a couple of weeks ago I'll link it down below if I can remember to um, it's the first that was the first time I shopped on Peacock's I did find it quite expensive um, the quality is not brilliant it's not terrible I've had a lot worse but I did find I'm so used to Shein and everything five pounds I find 30 pounds for a dress really expensive um, so I went on the website and I saw this dress I love the colour it's the style that I like it's a crossover on an elasticated waist it's got some kind of um, tortoiseshell weird link tie detail here um, I'm not sure I entirely love that I don't think I like this yellow one I'd like it if it was all tortoiseshell and then you've got kind of like a, a sash belt across the front it's just down to a plain straight a-line skirt oops fell off the hanger um, it's got elastication at the back and it's got some flared uh, I would imagine elbow length sleeves I got it in a UK size 16 and it was selling for 30 pounds but it wasn't it was in the sale and it was 15 pounds what I found with Peacock's is they have an awful lot of things on sale and they tend to have a nearly permanent rolling 20% off um, sale. So that does make the price of things a little bit easier. This is like, um, it's almost like a slippy, it's not satin, but it's, a, I, don't, I want to say brushed cotton, but I think that would be very misleading. But it's got a certain slip to it, but it's also got a warmth to it. Should we have a look see what it's made from? That would probably be better than me trying to explain it. Let's have a little look. Um, it says it's polyester, but it, it feels really nice. And I just adored the colour. I thought it was so pretty. And the reason that I went on to <laughs> haven't opened the, uh, the, the polythene bag that comes in yet, the reason that I went on the website was because you would know that I bought a jumpsuit recently in a on the web website it said red but it is not it's absolute tangerine orange and then later I saw they had a baby blue I'm such a fan of blue um this is a beautiful color um so it's exactly the same as the other jumpsuit it's got a lapel it's got buttons all the way down with a tie sash waist that has got belt hoop, hoops, hoops. It's got an elasticated back. If you wanted to change your belt out, you could. Um, it's got quite a wide leg, but not ridiculously so. This is selling on Peacock's um, for £30, but I got the 20% off again, which was £24. I just know what I paid. It's not because I'm a math math mathematical, can't even say it, genius and um, knew how to work it out because I can't, I won't lie to you. I don't know, but I know it's £24. I got it in a UK 16. I got the other one in a 16. I absolutely loved it. I've worn it twice now um, since I since I 
purchased it, not this one, the, the orange one, when I put it in my what I wore or when I show it in my haul, everyone said they really liked it. So I felt really comfortable in it and I felt really put together in it when I went out to lunch in it. So um, I thought I would get the blue one as well. They have got a navy one and a, I still don't know if it's cream or white, but like a pale one. Um, but I, I love this colour blue, so I picked this up. Okay, let's go on to Vinted now, shall we? Oh, actually, I can show you the first thing I got here. Can you see this bangle? It's got a faux button, um, a button buckle, and then it's got studs all the way around. This is a Michael Kors bracelet, and I picked it up on Vinted. Really pleased with it. I love a, a bangle and a bracelet. Um, do you remember I went out a couple of weeks ago uh, for a friend's birthday and I wore my shoe boots from Next. I always keep them for best. Um, I don't know if I do. Well, I don't wear them in the day. I always wear them in the evening. And when I wear them, they make me feel really put together. I just, I just feel glamorous in them. Well, I wore them when I went out, but all the suede kind of peeled off and the mock croc crack. I'd had them for over 10 years. And I was absolutely gutted and felt bereft without them. Went into a panic, although I only, if I wear them once every two years, I don't know. But I felt the need to instantly replace them. So I had a look on Next. They didn't have any that tickled my fancy and they're quite expensive on Next. Um, and then I thought, right, I'm going to go and look on eBay for the same ones. Couldn't find them. And I'm going to look on Vinted for the same ones. Couldn't find them, could find lots, even ones from Next and everything, but then these ones caught my eye. You know I'm a bit of a uh, fan of Michael Kors handbags, and I saw these beautiful shoe boots, and I fell in love. Look at them, they're, they're a peep toe. They've got this silver piping with this real deep V here, a stiletto heel, there's the NK logo, you can see they've never been worn, they've got um, a silver inside zip, and then, oh that's a good angle, the Michael Kors inside, they're absolutely beautiful, I have put them on and they fit like a glove, I got them, um, oh what size, that's a good point. Um, Michael Kors size is funny. It doesn't say like size four or Euro 37. Right, these these boots are called the Harper Booty. They're suede and then the size, doesn't say on the shoe, the size is US 7M. I'm not even gonna pretend to understand. I don't know, but I'm a size four and they fit me. And I love them. Oh, obviously I've not worn them yet, it's raining. I'm going out later tonight, but it's raining and I'm not taking, I'm not taking you out in the rain, my beauties. But I, oh, I didn't tell you. I, usually I don't know how much stuff is, um, but these are absolutely gorgeous. On the Michael Kors website, these will be around, but then Michael Kors is another one that has good sales, but these will be around 285, 300 pounds. I got them for 15 quid. I can't believe it. I can't believe my luck. I absolutely love them. Right, I'm just gonna, are you gonna have to wait for me because I need to put their little shoe insert in and I need to snuggle them down in their little nest of Michael Kors paper so that they can sleep nicely while they're Mummy's not looking after them. I know, I want to put them away. Enjoy. In a week or so, they'll be chucked on the floor over there. Okay. What else did I get? Oh. I forgot. Another thing I got from Peacocks. When I did the haul where I got the orange jumpsuit, I got this dress, but I got it in uh, cream and blue. 
and because I love a bit of orange, I later saw it in the orange. Um, this is like a, a, it's a swing shirt dress. So it, it's got a button collar, buttons all the way down. And do you remember it had that massive skirt? I can only apologize. I will be doing the twirl in the video when I'm trying it on, but I can't resist a princess skirt or I can swish about. I just can't. This dress I got in the uh, UK 16. It was £30. I got it with 20% off, so I paid 24 for it. And it's got a um, rope tie waist belt as well. But I like the other one when I wore it, and so I picked this one up as well. Right, now vintage. I got this Shein blouse. I, I know I'm trying to steer away from the leopard print, but I couldn't resist it. I, you know me, I love a v-neck. I love a flouncy frill. Um, it's got long sleeves with an elasticated cuff that gives you a kind of a frill look on the um, cuff. It's just straight down, so you could wear it out or you could tuck it in or you could do a French tuck. Um, but yeah, I got this in a, a Shein Zero XL, which is a size 16, and I just liked it, so I picked that up. I saw this blouse um, when I was looking for something else. I'll show you the back. I was just so attracted to all the colours. I love the colour of the material. It's like an air, oh well, it's, mm -mm. it looks Air Force Blue here, but it's got a little bit of a lean towards the greeny in it as well. I think that light's playing tricks. Maybe you'll see it better when I try it on, but I just loved all the coloured dots. You could match your handbag and your shoes. You know I, I can't resist doing that. Um, it, it doesn't button down all the way. It's a V-neck, so it's like a faux V-neck. There's no buttons here at all. Long sleeves with a buttoned cuff. Just a little collar. I got it in an L, size L. L. <laughs> it must have come from the um, main site rather than the um, plus site. It's got actually got no, um, it's actually got no labels in it at all. But it is, apart from the one that says L. But it is from Shein. And I was just you know, I saved it in my favourites and I just kept looking at it. I was so drawn to it. So I got it. I've got another blouse from Shein that is white with a big frill down the front. Everyone loves it. It was it in the reduced section and I picked it up ages and ages ago. But every time I wear it, people um, comment on it and say it's really nice. So I was looking on... Uh, Shein again. This one is actually in a 2XL, although I really can't see how it is. 2XL should be 20. There's no way this is a 20. But it's like an ivory blouse and it's got this kind of um, frilly neckline that stands proud. It's got little multicolored butterflies on. It's got a frill trim over the shoulder. It goes down to a cuff that's got butterflies near the cuff. And then butterflies towards the bottom of the shirt. Again, it's a um, like a popover one. It's a pop over your head. It doesn't button all the way down, but the frill kind of gives the impression that it does. I just like the butterflies. I like the fact that you can match them with loads of different colours. I'm not sure what I'm actually going to try this on with, whether I will try it on with jeans or whether I'll go with white uh, white jeans with it. But I just was attracted to it. It was only a couple of quid and I really like it. And the final thing I've got to show you from Vinted and the final thing of this haul. No, it's uh, yeah, it's from Vinted. I was going to say, I was going to tell you it's an F&F &F, um, Tesco's dress, but it's actually not. This dress is from George at Asda and it's got this beautiful um, floral pattern on it. It is on a black background but it's not overwhelmingly 
like a dark floral, I wouldn't say. But what I really like about it is, it's got the crossover front, the faux wrap that I really like. But the other side of the wrap is a completely corresponding pattern. I just thought that was so unusual. Um, it's got a little tie up here that serves not a great deal of purpose. It's got a little elasticated puff sleeve straight down to an A-line skirt, but I just really liked this contrast. It just caught my eye the, the moment I saw it. Um, and of course, it's got loads of matchy-matchy possibilities, but um, I was just attracted to it. It was a couple of quid, it was on Vinted, and um, so I picked it up. I got it in a, let's have a little look. I usually got a UK 16. I usually buy a 14 or a 16. It doesn't seem to make that much difference. It depends how little material there is to go around the boob area for me. Um, that's the part, it, it might gape sometimes on a 16. If it's like a button up blouse, I would try and go for an 18 because I don't like that tight look. I like it to, to fit, to skim so that I, th I think that's more flattering. Um, it's more flattering on my figure anyway you know you you just have to figure out what suits your figure um but yeah I really liked it um I think I I liked absolutely everything that I picked up which is quite unusual sometimes I do get things that I'm not that keen on but that was everything that I've picked up from Vinted everything five pounds and Peacocks I hope you enjoyed drop me a comment down below so that I can uh, chat back to you um, give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. If you like this kind of content, then please think about subscribing to me. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will be Saturday, what I wore this week. Take care, my loves.